Hi folks, this is Jay. I just want to discuss with you the best arguments that atheists used against Christianity. So, I mean, we really need to discuss this. We need to look at the best arguments. I mean, there's some pretty massive intellectual clout out there by the atheists. So we've got to look at their best arguments. So let's have a discussion about the best arguments that, evil, uh, that, that atheists have against Christianity. So what are they? So what are they? <laughs> what are the best arguments against Christianity from atheists? There aren't any. <laughs> There's no arguments from atheists against Christianity. It's a complete and utter joke. Uh, well, what is the best argument that atheists use? There isn't anything challenging, is there? I mean, what what is challenging? It's not even challenging anymore. I mean, for goodness sake. We, 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 we've, we've destroyed these atheists, like, we've destroyed them on the scientific method. You've got no light to stand on the scientific method, right? For, first of all, we've taught, shown you that scientific method was developed from Christianity, Francis Bacon, Copernicus, Gal Galileo, etc. And then we've shown you that the scientific method is not all there is to, to know about knowledge, that you, it's a limited epistemology. Then we smashed you on your pragmatism. So, I mean, there's not much left there, atheist. Then we, 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 we've looked at the historicity of Jesus. You got smashed there, atheist. You got nothing to say there. In fact, you just went like little mice running away on that issue. Uh, on the issue of miracles, we smashed you on that. We completely destroyed you because you have absolutely no understanding, most of you, concerning uh, how... Uh, contingency works and the and the issue of probability and how that doesn't preclude the possibility of miracles but not many of you really understand that kind of stuff so we smashed you on that we smashed you on your Mithraism do you remember your Mithraism you kept going on about a couple of years ago we completely destroyed you there so much so that you all went skedaddling off and never came back not one iota on that issue and we're smashing you on evolution. Well, I've just given you some powerful argument now from the life of Charles Darwin. And you, you're getting smashed, atheist. So, what are your best arguments? I mean, you haven't got any arguments. All you've got is prejudice, an attitude problem, and uh, loneliness. Because I think some of you atheists are so lonely that you spend half your time listening to Bionic Dance and Aaron Ra and uh, Thunderfoot and whatever you're in. And it's like, a, it's like your own little village community. Um, and it, it, it's sad, really. I mean, what are your arguments, say? You haven't got any arguments. I mean, for goodness sake. <laughs> you're completely destroyed. Just get over it and get out of atheism. And come over to, to the Lord. I mean, it's getting embarrassing, atheists, but I'm feeling embarrassed for you, okay? you you, you got no leg to stand on. it. We, it's so easy to smash atheism, all right? And it's so easy to present evidence for the Christian faith. It, 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 you know, um, it, it's, just getting a, it's just getting a joke now. It's getting embarrassing, all right? I think you need to do a tactical retreat. I think you need to retreat. I think you need to go and have words with your people. I think you need to rethink your strategy and rethink what you're doing, ideas, because it's obviously you're all over the place. All right, some of you know some of your best people can't even string an argument together. If they, if you do talk to them, they're, they're brainwashed. They're coming out with things. You can't get a, a proper discussion with them, a proper a proper academic debate with them. Uh, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, it's getting really, really embarrassing. So I just hope that you pull yourselves together out there on YouTube land because it's. I, I just think that. I think that I, I wish people like Bertrand Russell were around because I mean. I mean I don't dis I didn't agree with him but at least you get more sense out of people like that I mean, the old guard were 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 a much better lot than this new guard this new guard's all over the place. Um. Yeah, so what are the best arguments of atheists? I mean, it's 
utterly easy to destroy Samaras, it's easy to destroy Dawkins, it's easy to destroy Aaron and Thunderfall, it's so easy. It's easy to destroy Hitchens, it's easy to destroy Dennis Hardwell, it's easy. There's nothing hard about it. The only thing that's hard is when you meet these dogmatic brainwashed atheists who you can't even say anything to because they're just so brainwashed that they're like they're like Hare Krishnas, they keep repeating themselves all the time and you just can't get through to them so you know it, it, they're, the, they're the hard ones to talk to because they're so brainwashed but the actual firepower that, that these atheist leaders are, are pushing on YouTube and on their websites it's so easy to, to demolish to smash and it's not a challenge anymore it's just not a challenge um, but it's just it's just not it's just not a challenge anymore um, you know I think I'm gonna start doing more with Islam and writing about Islam and doing more videos on Islam I mean that's a new challenge to be more challenging uh, at least they'll pull up a better fire the police will start uh, having more uh, rational argumentation but the atheist on YouTube and on their websites and their leaders it, it's not even a challenge anymore people like Krauss I mean that's not a challenge I mean the guy the guy is so easy to destroy I mean it's just a joke I mean it's getting really embarrassing atheist it really is um, all I suggest you do go back do your reading do your thinking and come back in a few years time Maybe he'll get things sorted out. No problem, 99. He's calmed down. He might be able to get his act together and get out some good stuff in the next few years. But at the moment, he's had smash with the feminist on Free Thought Blog. Um, Thunderfoot is all over the place. Aaron Ra needs to go on an anger management course. Um, Uh, Mr. Jones on Magic Sandwich Show scared. He's absolutely scared to death of me. He he's frightened of uh, frightened of me. Uh, giving him arguments, he can't cope with me. Uh, it, there's just no challenge anymore. It's just no challenge. There's no challenge anymore with the atheists. It's just amazing that these mighty atheists have been broken down. Um, it's sad really it's just sad because what amazes me is how clever they think they are and never mind never mind so young people remember remember there's so much on offer on uh, the YouTube um, community from the Christian perspective JP Morland, top philosopher, go and see what he's got to say. Gary Habermas, go and listen to what he has to say on the resurrection. R.C. Sproul, top man. Dr. Muller, top man. Don Carson, Dr. Don Carson, top man. Dr. Giesler, top man. Great thinkers, great scholars. Awesome. Awesome. We're not finding you a challenge anymore, atheists. We're just not. And uh, it's getting embarrassing. I think you need to get off YouTube now. Um, close down your YouTube channels, you atheists out there who are pumping out your stuff. Just close them down and realize how embarrassing you're getting. Okay. Yeah, you might have a thousand subscribers or even five thousand subscribers. You might even have half a million viewers, but you're getting very, it's getting really embarrassing you know you can't string proper arguments together you're just pumping out prejudice your, your main leaders have been absolutely disseminated and uh, disseminated destroyed and uh, you're even begging me to stop arguing with you some of you some of them are even begging me they're even begging me because they can't cope with it <laughs> so just give it up atheists you've lost all right, you've lost America. They lost. All right, they lost. They they're begging me. They're begging me to stop. All right, America. They're begging me to stop. All right, 
So come on, atheist, give it up now. Give it up and uh, close your YouTube channels now and uh, give it a rest for a few years because you, 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 you've lost the way, okay? You've lost the way. It was too hard for you. It was too hard, all right? All right, take care. God bless. I think what did it for them is the presuppositional apologetics. That was the that was the thing that 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 came and finished atheism off on YouTube. As soon as that came along, boom. That was the final nail in the coffin for them. I think. All right, take care. God bless you, and see you around. Let's hope we can find some new challenges. Take care. God bless.